Now, it's time for the 13 News Sports Desk, sponsored by Desert Diamond Sportsbook, Arizona's best bet. How are you, friends? Damian Alameda here. Former CDO softball star Wendy Castro is recovering from what she calls an addiction, a mental illness, an eating disorder, one that nearly crippled her but ultimately did not win. And because of that, Wendy's able to share her story for your benefit and for hers. It's almost like a third person point of view. Sometimes I feel like I'm telling my story, but it doesn't feel like my own. Wendy Castro stares through a window of the last six years of her life, an outsider looking in at a promising softball star who succumbed to the power of an invisible enemy, anorexia. Wendy Castro is just a tremendous power lefty. After a successful high school career at Canyon Del Oro, Wendy left to play for the University of Wisconsin. But in the fall of her freshman year, 2017, she suffered a concussion, sidelining softball. The migraines came, then depression, then anxiety, then something worse. It just kind of started with me not wanting to eat because I hadn't worked out. And then it started with me not wanting to eat food with my teammates in a dining hall because at that point, I think I was like too in my own head that I didn't want to eat. Didn't want to eat because Wendy felt she hadn't earned the right and food was one of the few things she could control. I could choose not to eat, I can choose to eat. Sometimes I would save all my calories just for the one cookie. <laughs> Sometimes I would be afraid of that cookie. Wendy suffered from hunger pains and insomnia. Dizziness crept in, hypoglycemia, hypertension, dry skin, brittle hair, weight loss, and yet. I looked at myself every day and I thought that I looked the same. I never saw what everyone else saw. What everyone else saw was a young woman in need of help. Her college coaches recommended she step away from softball to focus on her health. I felt like in essence I had lost a piece of my personality, a piece of my identity. Everything was just, you know, falling apart in that sense. I can't even really say it out loud, honestly, at the very beginning, because I didn't, I didn't really believe that I was sick. Wendy wasn't the only one in denial. It just didn't make sense to me. She's just a rock star. This just would never happen to her. But then Wendy's sister, Alejandra, saw her in person, hospitalized, going through treatment to reintroduce food to her body. It was a lot. And seeing her in tubes was something you don't want to see any of your family members go through. In 2018, Wendy left Wisconsin for Arizona. She moved to Utah and then returned. Treatment centers, doctors, lab work, Time passed and Wendy got better. Then this January, she felt good enough to pick up a ball and a bat. It reminded me of all the good times that I had while playing the sport. I was emotionally excited. It was having my best friend back on the field. Things get hard, but that's how the sport is. That's how life it is. Um, and sometimes you just gotta you know, keep on grinding, keep on moving forward and you're gonna get a great outcome. That grind and persistence led not just to a new lease on life, but to a spot on Pima's softball team where Wendy's currently batting 396 while leading the team as a pitcher with 32 strikeouts. I feel like now I have grown so much more as a person, as an individual, as a sister, as a teammate. I think things happen for a reason. I'm trying to be more grateful and more compassionate with myself with the little things that I do, my small accomplishments, because it's a small accomplishment and the small steps that lead to the big picture. Wendy says she's gone public with her experience, not just to educate others on anorexia, but because the more she tells it, the less power the disease holds over her. Pima Softball's next home series is this Saturday against Chandler Gilbert.